Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today it's going to be a very interesting session. So I'm just going to show you how to uh, create an application which will generate a push notification. And uh, that notification, we will be storing it in a MySQL database. And then like from MySQL, we'll be doing some data analysis. So first of all, what is push notification, right? So uh, if you if you have seen Uber, Zomato and all, you will be getting a push notification, right? Like your meal is ready, your, your cab driver is ready, your captain is ready right and uh, your delivery partner picked your uh, uh, partner uh, parcel from the hotel right so you get all these kind of uh, notifications so this is what push notification even gmail sends you something you got an inbox whatsapp in web when you connected or in your phone some notification is keep on coming right so that is what push notification and how companies are doing this push notification they use some technologies right so in google cloud we have a technology called the firebase so this is the home page of my google cloud if you have google cloud account you can do this so if you go there this is your home page so firebase is one such technology a cloud messaging service which sends push notification for the applications whether it could be ios app or android app or it could be a web app also okay you can get the notification you can send push notification to your user whomever is using your application in their device okay fine so now uh, just search for Firebase. It will take you to this page. Okay. So here if you just search for cloud messaging. Okay. Here it is. Firebase cloud messaging. Click get started. And just click get started. This will take you to another page. Firebase console. Okay. So here uh, you have to create a new project. But I do have my project already here. So or you can again click create project and you can do. I have my project as notification. Okay. So if you just click notification, so this is how uh, the page it's going to be. And now what you can do is you have this project overview, right? And the gear icon, click this and then project settings. And uh, in general, if you come down, you will be able to see add app. Just click this and choose for which app you are going to send this push notification. So whether it is Android, iOS or web app. So if it is web app, choose the third one. So when you choose the third one, it will ask you a nickname. You give some name. I have given web app. And if you come down, click config. And this config information is very much important. Let's have this. Let's save it somewhere or just keep this page as is. Okay, we will be using it, the complete config. Fine. So now uh, the next thing is go to cloud messaging. Click cloud messaging. So you will be having generate a key pair here. Just click it and create the key pair with you. And then service account, just third option. Click service account. So service account is something that for every project you need a service account. So that service account is, is again a credential part. So you can create a new uh, private key. Just click this so that you can create a, a, a JSON file will be get downloaded. So it's one time download. So keep it safely. So if you see here, whichever like uh, uh, the code we are using, they are giving a sample code how to connect with the service account. So this all I'll be using in the code. Okay. For now, it's all dots. I'll be connecting in some time what we are doing. Okay, so download and keep it ready with you. So we are going to use Python. So somewhere we have to pass this uh, JSON file. Okay, so keep it somewhere in your local or the place where your code is there. Just keep it there. Next. So if you see, right, uh, we have two types of uh, push notification. For us, it is always one type. But for the back, back end, right, the people who generate the push notification, for them, it is like two types. Foreground and background. Imagine you are opened the Zomato app or the Uber app or the Instagram app. So while while the while the website is live, by the time itself you are getting some notification means that is called foreground. Now you minimized your Instagram and you are doing some other work in a different application. And that time when you receive some notification, that is called background notification. So in the back end, they will store your notification, whether this user received it in the foreground or background. Okay, fine. And then there is something called FCM token. What is FCM first place? Firebase cloud messaging is called FCM. That is what we created now. And token is, so for every device and the browser that you use or the app, mobile app or iOS that you use, for every device, there will be a token assigned. Then only Firebase will know, okay, this particular token is belongs to this particular device. And this token will be get regenerated every 30 minutes or 20 minutes once based on how the Firebase is uh, having that interval of time. So the first thing is we have to generate this FCM token because we are doing this testing. The client said it has to be get generated. So once that is generated, I need that FCM token uh, to send the push notification. So all this we will be doing it. 
So now let me just show you the code um, first. So I have four files here. So one is index.html uh, where like I created the code to generate the FCM token in first place and then to get the um, uh, foreground notification. And then I have something called JavaScript Firebase messaging. So this is for background uh, receiving background uh, notifications. And then send notification is the way the code that I created to send the, the to trigger the notification, whichever notification I wanted to send. Now imagine I am the I am the Instagram or I am the Zomato guy. I just want to send a notification to your app saying that your order is ready. I'll be running this code by giving a custom message. Or Instagram, one user has uh, liked your photo or he's in live or he tagged you or he shared your post. Then you will be getting a notification via such invocation of a code. Right. And then I have something called app underscore n dot py. Now, not only showing you how the notification will be generated, I'm going to save all this notification in MySQL database. That is also something I have written here. It's all happened in the REST API. So if you know, don't know what is REST API, I have a video for it. You can get the link from the description box of this video. And the complete code and sequence also there in the GitHub. And that is also there in the description box of this video. Fine. So now, uh, just for the MySQL part, right, we need uh, the DDLs, the create table syntax and all right. Let me show you that. And this is also there, as I told you in the GitHub. So you have to create a database and then use it. And this is the create table DDL for you. And then I'm just created a unique key constraint for these three columns only to avoid duplicates. That's it. So a SQL part also we have been done and please make sure that you install all these dependencies whichever I have it in the import statement like flask, flask core, mysql connector and then we have this uh, random firebase admin and also you have to create one dummy png uh, icon this is for the fav icon that which we get on top of the tab in the browser right so or else it will be get failed so have it and try to have all this in a same folder Right. So let me start with index.html. So first thing is you give all your head, the title, all the stuff and these two lines are highly important. Okay. This is like the CDN. So you need this to be added in your script head, sorry, in your HTML head. And then I have this title which will be get displayed a title and a button in your uh, index.html page. Okay. Now, if you see here, right, I have given this config, which I told you that we generated, right? And now you can connect the dot. So in the general, I created this config, right? Yes, this one, this piece. Okay. So this contains all the keys and information. So I'll be anyway deleting this so that like I'm showing you, but you don't show all this information to anyone. I just added this. And then you have to initialize the Firebase and then coming down. So you have to grant the permission. So make sure that the notification grant permission is there. So make sure that your browser is enabled with the notification and also make sure that uh, you, you are not in do not disturb. Yesterday, this happened for me for around 30 minutes. I, I was like, why I'm not getting any notification, but then I've seen that it was in um, do not disturb. So then I disabled it. Just make sure all this thing. Fine. So here, if you see, I'm generating that FCM token for my device. Okay. Now I will be uh, showing you my index.html, but you have to run this, right? So for that, I'm just using Python's inbuilt HTTP server because I have to deploy this as a server, uh, the, the HTML in a server. So I'm just invoking this from that uh, directory where I have this particular code. Okay. HTTP server, just enter. So this will start in localhost 8000. So let me show you that. Okay. Yes. So let me show you. Okay. This is the page. So localhost 8000 index.html. So now press F12 for developer mode. Okay. This mode. And now just click enable notification. This will generate the FCM token, but you cannot copy from here. Just click okay. Here down in the right side, you can copy your token. And I will tell you where to paste this. First we generated. Okay, so till this we generated the FCM token. Next thing, handle foreground notification, messaging dot on message. So we have to handle both foreground and background both notifications. So for that, I'm just getting my title and body. And then I'm just displaying that notification to the user. Okay, then I invoked an API here, like uh, this particular API call, you can see the REST API call, where I have written that uh, the code to actually store all these notification in the MySQL. Now, let me show you where this particular REST API method store notification belongs to. So if you are not that much like 
uh, good in understanding this REST API, please check my video. The REST API practical video is there. After that, you will have some idea. Right. So I have this app underscore n dot py where I created the MySQL connection details. And then you can see here I'm creating the route point dot store notification. It's a post method which I'm just uh, po like whenever someone calls this, right, they can use this code. They don't know what the code is all about. What I will be sharing them is see there, there is a REST API available with this route URL. Use it. That means they can send any data to it. This will be get stored because I've written the logic to store it. So I'm just fetching my title body from the data from the push notification payload. We call it as payload. Okay. And then I, I just get type and source. I'm just defaulting it to Instagram. And finally, I'm creating a connection and then cursor. So cursor is required to execute all your SQL queries within the code. And for that, you have to first create a connection object. So now I have the insert query here. And then I'm passing this percentages because I have to pass the value for this insert in the runtime. And I'm just check, I've just written a check for avoiding duplicates. And then now I'm executing it with the cursor object. That's the use of cursor I told you. And I'm passing title, body, notification type, source. That's what like it, it goes to each of this percentage as in the runtime. That's all. I'm just closing it. So this piece of code is completed. Now back to index.html. So after this, you see, I'm just registering the service worker and I'm passing the code here, which is the JavaScript. You can see here this one. So uh, index.html is to handle the foreground message and this JavaScript is to handle the background message. Now I'm calling this particular uh, Firebase messaging SWJS. Let me go to that code now. So here also again, I'm giving the two line, the two uh, script uh, uh, which I given in index.html under head, right? So now then I have this config and then coming down, I'm initializing the Firebase. And here again, there it was on message, here it was on background message and then again, Again, the same two line payload title payload body payload is nothing but the notification content we call it as a payload and then uh, this uh, default icon png is required as i told you you can have instagram icon also it's up to you and here also i'm calling the um, what to say this api where it has to store the mysql uh, the notification to a mysql right so i'm just calling this and finally it's all done Right. Now the final part is I have to send the notification for that you have to write a code. So here I have written a Python code where I'm passing my service account key JSON which I told you to save right. Uh, so if you go here in the service account uh, when you generate a service account a JSON file will be get downloaded I told you right. So that file you have to file name you have to give the file name when you download it will be very big it's a one time download it will be very big you can rename it and keep that file within the code where the folder where all your code is and then give the name. So here the service key.json is the name that I have given and then random notification. Okay, this is an interesting part of the code, right? So every time when I run this code, it has to generate a random notification like user one liked your photo. Next time when I run, maybe user one liked your photo can come again. But the next time when I run, it says like user five tag, tag, tagged your photo, tagged you in a photo or followed you, user eight sent a message, something like that. So I'm using random.choice. And then send notification. I'm passing token title and body. So here is where I need the token. So you can see here, uh, I'm passing all the title body. So this is all like uh, Firebase API for notification. So you have to use this constant uh, syntax and then messaging dot send i'm just sending it and when you come to the main method i have this fcm token so this token is what i showed you in the developer mode in the index.html here it got generated right i just copied this and i have pasted here okay and finally get random so body is going to be the get random notification method whatever the random message and the title is always going to be instagram notification and finally i'm sending it right now i'm going to show you now if you see right uh, i just minimized this html page okay i just minimized it okay i minimized it and it is not running in the foreground i minimized it two windows were opened okay one okay i just minimize it so now if i run this code right in the right hand side you can see the notification okay see instagram notification user 3 started a live video but now the uh, notification type is background because we minimized the uh, web page now let me go to my uh, 
SQL and just select this particular table. I'm seeing only one record and the type is background and the title is Instagram notification. User 3 started a live video. Now what I'm going to do, let me just, uh, so I have two monitors. So let me move this to my second monitor, this page, so that it will be in foreground always. If you have two monitor, you can do this. So I cannot show you because my monitor is in the other side. My uh, screen recorder is... Uh, what to say it's recording only the one monitor so but i do have an another uh, uh, monitor you can able to see here let me just show you so yeah so you can see i have another window in which i have opened it fine so now what i'm going to do is now again i'm going to run this code okay so now again you will be getting a notification user 5 tagged you in a photo now let me go to mysql just select star from notification yeah so it says foreground see it says foreground right fine so now uh, we got the data to mysql and then now you can start doing some type of data analytics on top of it for example i just need to get all the user name and how many times they have uh, sent a notification right so for that i have substring index body delimiter is going to be space and one whatever that i get before face uh, the after space the, the previous first element is going to be always the user id and then this will extract but count is based on group by username okay so if i run it i'll get user 3 one time user 5 one time maybe i will try to run one more time and see whether if i get the same username again five and three okay so we got three again glad okay so that means we got two entry in uh, in in the uh, user three you can ask that we it was part of primary key right but i didn't uh, like if you see right this type uh, was there so type is different for this user three and this user three okay so it's it's fine that it is allowing so now you will see user three two count right and then now you have to get the uh, last week count uh, notification last week was three and then like uh, count of foreground and the background category wise foreground two notification background one notification so you can add more data analytic enjoyed it but yeah one one more one more thing i just wanted to tell you one more thing so we written a send notification uh, py right uh, so if without this also you can do so i'll tell you how so just go to firebase go to firebase um uh, messaging you see the option messaging here click it okay so now you will see create your first campaign click this choose this firebase notification create okay so here you give for example i'll give uber uh cab arrived whatever it is some spelling mistake is there let's ignore okay now send a test message just click it so uh, you have to give your fcm key which we uh, created uh, in the developer mode right uh, so this one so you have to copy okay that was in my another monitor i'll bring back here okay so this one so this key fcm you have to copy okay and then just paste it here and add it click add so i already have one i delete that and i'll have this test so now this will send you a notification. You can just wait. See Uber cab arrived and this will be also part of MySQL. This will also get stored in MySQL. Let me go to my uh, MySQL and then just do a select. See Uber cab arrived. Yeah, that's it. So you can even use that messaging uh, one uh, which helps you to uh, test the uh, by sending the notification. So that's all guys. And if you're really uh, interested in such videos, right, just uh, just put comment yes so that like I'll know like uh, whether I need to continue this kind of videos or not. Product specific data analytics, right. And then if you uh, like uh, to do all this kind of uh, data analytics in cloud then comment cloud so that my next video everything is going to be cloud related as well and please uh, encourage me by commenting your thoughts guys and my instagram is big data dot in uh, my id is and then where i used to low upload lot of uh, one minute sql video python video pyspark video and please do follow me there as well thanks for watching guys